All right, guys, I'm going to show you a little trick, a little tricky trick. I don't know if any of you guys know this or not. However, there's something called the private queue, which obviously you all know. But if you combine private queue with the call to arms event, something magical happens. I'm going to show you what happens here. First, let's switch to our PvE build, not that it really matters, because all the mobs here are extremely squishy. So, first things first, if you're gonna come here, if you're gonna do this trick, guys, uh, I noticed that if you jump off this ledge with your mount, you run around in there, like, kill the mobs, you can do whatever you want, but it's not gonna actually trigger the... Um, mobs to spawn unless you like stand in this little pocket right here so I always go underneath there to make sure that it gets activated alright so I want you to keep a close eye right here I just want you to see what happens as I kill these mobs I want you to see how many medallions of battle I'm getting Um, to be honest, I probably should have showed how many I had before I started, but it was probably like 40 something, like 43, 40 something. So we're going to see how many I get at the end of this run. There's no wait time. The map is already like populated, I guess, or whatever. Because as soon as you queue yourself for it, you immediately go in. Not to mention, you can just um, keep farming your portal masters or whatever. It's really annoying because what's going to happen is the mobs are going to spawn, and then half of them are going to go around this end, and half of them are going to go around this end. So, if you're playing a your GF, um, you're gonna have to, like, pick a side and then just try to mark the enemies that come near you, or to come to you rather, instead of, uh, going up there or wherever they're going. <laughs> look at the amount, dude, look at the amount of, when you run, which I did, I ran with, you know, uh, in the normal queue. And when you do that, dude, you get you get way less medallions, way, way, way less medallions, and everybody just kills all the mobs and just kind of stand around doing nothing. If you're real. <laughs> Look how fast that goes up, dude. Let's see how many I get out of the chest, because you also get a chunk of them after uh, you finish it. What was that? What the? I don't even think I've seen either of those items. Those are probably profession things or something, I don't know. Yeah, see, so I gotta jump back here, pull him. You can try to stand here and, uh. Maybe it'll be successful for you, but it. For me, I just get distracted. You can like stand back here and try to, you know, grab them as they are leaving this area to pull them back in. That's another 16. So let's just say I started with. I don't know, 45. I ended with 106. Now, I feel like that's, uh, to be honest, I feel like 45 is higher than what I actually started with. Um, but that's a lot more medallions of battle than you're going to get if you run this normally. So, you know, I, I didn't want to 
cut the video anywhere. I wanted you to see that this is one seamless loop here. Um, you know, there's no gimmicks, no nothing. You can run this for yourself. It's very easy. Uh, now, the, the really important part of this, which I'm sure most people haven't gotten to this part of the video because they just saw that, you know, I was saying, oh, run this private and you'll get more medallions, and they probably just, you know, left. But for any who were actually loyal enough to watch the whole video, no matter what it is that uh, I upload, these refiner caches, now this is, you know, common knowledge. I'm not, you know, saying you guys don't know what you're doing here, but. These refiner caches, obviously, they have a chance to give you an S-Mop, as it says there. But, since everybody's farming these and they see them in their inventory, they want to just open them and see what they get. Don't open them. Do not open them. And the reason why uh, is because of this coming up. The two times refining stones. So, today is Friday the 24th. Uh, that's August 24th and on August 30th so six days from now is when you want to open the refiners caches for a chance at two times whatever you get so you know if you get an S mop two S mops if you get a G mop two G mops um, if you if you know life this like if you know life this for the next three days which I, I can't unfortunately my schedule is not going to allow me to know life it otherwise I would um, you're gonna get a lot of, uh, a lot of refiner's caches, uh, doing it this way. And, uh, who knows, you might start stacking up S-Mops. I hope you do. I hope everybody who watches this gets good luck. Um, I probably won't have good luck. I never get good luck with these things, but who knows, maybe you will. Hope you do. If you do, uh... Make sure you thank me whenever you see me. You don't have to go out of your way, but... If you do end up seeing me somewhere... Why can't I bow? Uh... Is my emote... Stuck? Okay, that's weird, dude. You can't... You can't use emotes... In this... Um... Alright, I guess you can't use emotes in this map. Learn something new every day. Alright, enjoy.